That's why all business people who do these things and avoid their wives and run away, they end up poor. They end up losing money and losing their businesses. Then they begin to resort to moving to be laid hands from one prophet to another, thinking they will get anointing. And they see that it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. You have to change. Boss, don't talk about anointing. They begin to move. Ah, no, that church I went there, there is no anointing. Ah, I went to that one, there is no anointing. No, you are the one without anointing. Why are others prospering and you only is not prospering? Because everywhere where you are going, boss, it's a, boss, charging, this is a chipostory, like I don't know what you are now trying to do. Where you now think God blesses people because you are being laid hands everywhere. Where have you seen a scripture like that? Because laying of hands is for impartation. You prosper because you are giving. You prosper because you are, you are praying. You are living a holy life. Not because you are moving around being put hands on your head. And yet you are, you are committing adultery. If, I, if you see a man of God who lays hands on you when you are in adultery and then you prosper, that man has demonic spirits. Because what type of an anointing that doesn't rebuke your sin? It actually gives, because now, when you come to me, if you are sinning, if I lay hands on you, the anointing must locate you and you must be rebuked. Where have you seen, because nowadays people go get anointing oil so that they have clients as prostitutes. The prostitutes are looking for anointing oil to have clients. If you see anointing oil, that when you anoint it, it brings clients. That one is not anointing oil. It's grease. It's demonic. Because if you apply anointing oil and you are a prostitute, your well of clients must dry immediately. It must dry. If a nganga applies anointing oil, clients must stop coming because it must remove the demons that are pulling people to you. Because I'm not a postal. When you go to my postal, they pray for everyone. They pray for robbers. They give them water so that they are not caught by police. That is a demonic spirit. A true man of God does not perpetuate sin. A true man of God does not promote promiscuity and robbery. The anointing must stop that behavior. So which means that's false prophets, false prophets arena. That is not an arena where people are being delivered. Live a life which makes the devil to have a headache with you. The devil must have a headache for 20 years on how he can crack you. Don't be an easy person to crack through. If you are that easy, then you are that cheap. You are simple. Very, very simple. Simple people, simple men, simple women. Do you know I'm shocked that sometimes married women, even when men are now like in schools, when there is all these schools that are in Blawai, yeah, someone was telling me that, Prophet, do you know that in these schools there is a lot of prostitution among parents when it's uh, parents maybe when it's an athletic day or whatever, or children are doing athletics, parents come cheering their children. Some who are married, they just look at each other. Maybe the other one will be seated that side, opposite to a man. They just look. A man that is seeing for the first time. And they communicate with their eyes. In one hour after that, they meet. And they sleep together the same day. 
what type of simplicity is this that is now rocking our world today? Because television is portraying it. Love at first sight. All the films that we are watching, do you know that we need to teach our children the word of God? Because even movies that we are watching, if you don't teach your children, promiscuity is being promoted. They just look at a woman, and the woman looks at them in a bare hole, and straight away, the next scene which you are seeing on TV, they are now stripping themselves naked, stripping each other naked, and they are now sleeping with each other. So what are we teaching our daughters, our sons today? There is no lobola that has been paid, no wedding, straight away, be our bed, be our naked, from be our to nakedness. So already, they are, the devil is waking our children bit by bit in a secret way. He's putting systems of simplicity. He is now simplifying it that, no, it's easy when you look at someone and he looks at you, you look at him, he looks at you, and you love the looking, the, the looks that are going around between the two of you. You can just sleep together. And it's now happening even in the church of God. During offering, if a woman just gives some... Even when I'm preaching, they will just go and say, Hallelujah. And they give offering. They just go and they look at a man. And they look at each other. After that, in the church, they are going to sleep together. They just meet at the gate outside at ZITF and say, Baby, you were looking at me. Eh? <laughs> when the prophet was preaching. Eh? Let's just finish it. I saw your look. You saw my look. We are clicking. And they click and click the whole night. <laughs> Brethren, so sex is now simple like that. Sinning is now simple like that, even in the house of God. Why is it easy for you? To sleep with a woman. Because ha, I, I don't understand you. Maybe some people must preach to me. You are married. You are a married woman, but you have a boyfriend. Do you even know what is marriage in the first place? Why are you tithing? Why are you praying? I don't understand how prayer mixes with that life. Even if people want to give too much, mixing their life, you give, you tithe. Do you really understand the spiritual things, how they work? Do you think it works like you want to be laid in, you want to sleep around, you want to give offerings? Ha! 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 I don't understand. Which mixer I don't know where you learn this mixture. Because it doesn't go along. Tell someone, say, why is it simple? Shake someone, say, why is it simple for you? I always ask, wait, did he remove your clothes or you removed them yourself? I say, I know he removed me. And I said, did he just, isn't it, first of all, you'll be talking? Huh? <laughs> and where were you? I was in his house. Ah, so you went to his house. It was just happening. Walking from Kulumane to Luvev. It's just happening as you are going in a combi. You are dreaming, you know, going to Luvev. It's just happening. You go, you sit down. You talk, you cook. It was just happening. He comes closer to you and carries you. It's just happening. The word of the prophet is not even coming. And he, he kisses you. It's just happening. And he removes the first garment. Because women wear garments. <laughs> the first one was removed. And you, it was just happening from the way. 
You were in a combi coming from Kulumane to Luveve. It was happening. Your clothes are being removed. It's just happening. And you never thought of running away. And it happened until you are in bed and you are, in, you are pregnant today. And you come and have the guts to tell me it just happened. Why are you so simple like that? Do you know, Mama Chisa, for me even to get a Men were telling me that, brother, brother, I, they got that. Do you know you, we had, you want to marry that? You want to approach that one faster, brother? That one is not an easy person. Because Mama Chisa, if you just come as a brother and say, sister, I love you, she would just say, Rando Goji Bragadi Mama Zaya. I have weighed you. I have put you on a scale. I can I interpret the tongues. I have found you waiting. Mine is coming. Who is complicated, not cheap stuff like you. Single ladies, are you hearing me? Single parents, are you hearing me? Women, are you hearing me? Real men, are you hearing me? Boys and brothers, are you hearing me? Sisters and girls that are here, I said, are you hearing me? Don't be simple.